Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for my Friday head shave. Looking forward to this one. I haven't used this razor, I don't think I have anyway. I haven't used this razor in a little while and it is one of my favourite head shavers. So um, I'm going to give it a go. How's your week been? Has it been, you know, has it been everything you were expecting it to be? Uh, and I hope that's in, a, in the most positive sense of, uh, of the word. So um, yeah. These rail strikes out, but they cause a few issues for quite a lot of people. Luckily, I, I sort of, uh, I'm working at home sort of thing. So here's the razor. It is my Henson AL13 medium. Um, and it, I, haven't, I, I, I haven't checked, but I don't think I've used that razor in quite a while. The, um, the brush for today is the Yaki Atlantis. Got a bit of a blue theme today, so I just thought, well, go for the blue brush. So the Aki Atlantis, I, I do love this brush. The way that they've got the shell inside there just looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it looks like they've got bits of seaweed. I think that's just sphagnum moss, but at the end of the day, it looks fantastic. Um, <clears throat> right, okay, and I'm... I'm just going to get on with the shave as I usually do uh, because I'm using a cream as I always do for the head or for the dome or for the, some of you commented, the solar panel. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to wet the dome down. And the pre-shave today is Perazzo Blue. So there you go, Perazzo Blue. <clears throat> just gonna that's that's about the amount that I've used um, just gonna rub that between my hands and get it on the dome oh yeah I'm looking forward to this it's a bit later in the day so this video might go up a bit later than normal but <clears throat> you know what I've had a productive morning, so I'm quite happy. Um, and I'm looking forward to the weekend. So here we go. Um, what am I using for the the cream today? Body Shop, Macaroo. I haven't used this in a while, I don't think either. Um, there's not a lot of scent to this, but the slickness on this, oh, fantastic. But the one thing I've noticed this is still the original version. I think this was the second or third tub that I've used of this, but it's split in the middle. So, um, yeah, let's go for it. I think that's the heat that's done that because we've had some warm weather. Um, let's get that in there, get that in there. We've had, you know, I mean, it's been in the mid-20s, mid to upper 20s here. We had one day where we hit 30 in the Midlands. That was quite warm. But the last couple of days has been quite humid, uh, along with the warmth. Uh, but it has, today, it's cooled down a bit. It's, it's much more pleasant. Um, more of a pleasant temperature. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So here we go. Uh, I don't think we've got the weather for a barbecue this weekend. So I'm probably going to just cook up some chicken, do a bit of rotisserie chicken, salad and new potatoes for Sunday. I haven't, quite often I have my daughter and her partner over on a Sunday, but they're away in France celebrating their seventh anniversary of being together they're not married but they've been together for seven years and they've got their own house now and as you all know i've been talking about the fact they've been sort of oh, what's it called what's it called when you basically get an old house with a lot of problems and you basically do it up and get it fix everything Renovation, that's it, that's the word I was looking for. So they've renovated the house, they've finished all of that. And they've gone off to Paris for a, a weekend away 
to celebrate the seventh anniversary of being together. So happy anniversary to you two. If you watch this, I doubt you're going to be watching this while you're in Paris somehow. You might watch it when you get back. So, not not a lot of scent to this, but it is, there is, a, you know, it's a detectable scent. It's probably about a three, three out of ten. And it's a very pleasant scent. I quite enjoy it. It's got a distinctive scent. I can't describe it. It's macaroon. So... That's basically the scent. But it's fresh, it's clean, really nice, very pleasant. So here we go. Oh yeah. And immediately I remember why this is one of my favorite head shavers. It's fantastic, it feels great. You find the angle straight away, you can feel a bit of blade there is a bit of blade feel there, you know it's doing a good job. So this is another razor I would highly recommend for head shaves and face shaves. You know, if you're going away and you're a head shave, this, you only need to take this. Um, I wouldn't take the leaf because I don't get on with a leaf on my face. But I'd either take this or I'd take the, um, the twig or any other DE, because I mean any other DE, you can shave your head with pretty much any other DE as long as you know, you know, as long as you find it easy. From, uh, bear with me one second. Right, I'm back. Quick call from my son to say feed the dog. So, okay. <laughs> right, so where was I? I'm still doing the back of my dome. <clears throat> and I forget what I was talking about now. I think I was talking about this razor and taking it away on holiday. I mean, yeah, you can, as long as you're happy using any other double-edged razor, there are some double-edged razors that I can't get on with on my dome. Like that BBS, <coughs> that Razor Rock, um, Baby Smooth Razor, I, I would never, I wouldn't, I'm not going to use that again, I don't think. Um, it's way too mild for me. Um... But yeah, there's plenty of razors that I would take with me that do face and head. So, but these two are particularly good. So, or certainly the the leaf twig and and this Henson are, are great. But it just depends if you're going to go somewhere where you think you might lose it. Like you know, if you're going well, camping, if you're going to go motorhoming or things like that, where you're travelling around a bit, you might lose it. You might leave it in a bathroom or or whatever. Then I just take my Wilkinson Sword Classic, the plastic one. Um, you know, that's. I think last year I took my Merca Progress, um, but I'll probably take the Wilkinson Sword Classic because I've got a spare in case I lose it anyway. So. Um, so yeah, talking of that, I'm as I think I've mentioned in a previous video. I'm sure I have mentioned in my last video on the head shave. I will be away from the 6th of August, just going down to the North Cornwall coast to uh, a place called St Agnes uh, for a fortnight, so hopefully we'll have the weather. It is always a risk in this country with the weather, but at the moment it's a risk if you're flying or travelling, <clears throat> unless you're in, a, in your own vehicle. But, it, you know, for instance, if you're going to go to France and you, you're travelling your own vehicle, you, you might have a problem on the Channel Tunnel. You know, there's all sorts of risks, flying, all that kind of stuff. All the problems and all the strikes and staff shortages and everything that we're experiencing. You're taking a risk unless you're driving yourself, which, you know... And, and to be fair, we've been going down to Cornwall for years. Um, since my kids were born, really. So, and they've always, you know, I've given them the choice in the past, do they want to go abroad, you know, or do they want to go to Cornwall? And because they loved surfing so much, they always opted for Cornwall. 
I mean, now they've grown up and, you know, they've got their own relationships and, and their own lives. Um, they tend to have a holiday abroad, but they'll always keep enough time or enough holiday days back to do a holiday to Cornwall with us. So, or with me. So, yeah. So yeah, if anybody's down in Cornwall for those two weeks, maybe we can meet up. You never know. So, so that pass was across the ground. Oh, just love this. I love my Friday head shows. It, it's a punctuation mark on the week. It's the beginning of the weekend and there's just something about shaving your dome that is so relaxing. <clears throat> and especially when you're using a razor that you love using. You know, there's always that concern when you're trying a new razor on the dome and you think, mm, is this gonna is this gonna work? So there's a bit of tension. But when you, you use a razor that you know works and you enjoy using, then uh, you can just sit back and relax, do you know what I mean? And this feels great. So we're going to go against the grain now. And this is where above the ear and around the ear, this is where the Henson outperforms the leaf. Um, because it, it's, it's more manoeuvrable around the ears. Oh, did I say what blade? I've got a pulse silver on it, second use in this. So, it's working quite well. Just trying to do the pickups as I go along. <clears throat> Catch the crease area. I think I said last time, I've had quite a few comments of people saying they don't shave their head, but they are now thinking about it, or they're going to wait until their hair thins out enough for them to shut their look forward to the day when they can shave their hair off. I know, I know a few people that got a full head of hair that shave their heads because it's so relaxing. So you don't have to wait until you, your hair falls out or, you know, you can do it whenever you feel like it. But it is a bit of a, a jump from having a full head of hair to having clean shaven solar panels. But in the summer it's, it's great. You, the only thing you've got to be aware of is that you need to slap the uh, SP off, SP, SP off, SPF 30 or I've got SPF 50 for my dome. You've got to really look after it. Um, I don't know whether the skin's more vulnerable to sunburn, but it probably is because it's had, you know, most of its life has been covered with hair, you know. 
Right, so that's the end of that. Let's see if I've missed anything. No, that's BBS. So I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Post-shave time. Cold rinse time. Oh yeah. Really nice. Oh, that feels great. I'm not going to bother with Alum. Um, I, I don't need it. I, you know, from experience, when I use the Henson, I don't need Alum. Um, so I'm just going to go straight ahead with the Boots Cucumber. So yeah, we've got a, as I mentioned on Wednesday, I'm getting very close to the thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm actually having um, some t-shirts printed, not for a thousand subscriber, but I decided if I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll start doing some t-shirts in my giveaways. So, um, yeah, I've ordered some t-shirts, so they'll the, the people who get those in the first, I'm gonna get do two giveaways for my thousand giveaway. I think one's gonna be a custom JJ shorty um, with a strop and a t-shirt. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for uh, the thousand subscriber giveaway for the DE shavers amongst us. Um, uh, you know, cause I was gonna do two, two JJ shorties, straight razors, but you know, I don't, I don't think all of you will want that. So I decided I'm going to do something for the double edge safety razor crew, um, brute aftershave. Um, so yeah, it'll probably be a full set of Wickham's or signature soaps. Um, and maybe and a t-shirt so I'll, I'll try and get it to about the same value if I can uh, although I think if I do a JJ shorty and a strop and a t-shirt that'll come to around 50 60 quid so I'll, I'll see what I'm gonna do I may give away a razor or something to that value for the safety razors safety razor crew Oh, I haven't, this is the body shop. Ooh, that's not got a pleasant smell and it was a funny color. Um, I think that's probably past its best. Yeah, it's gone uh, a bit iffy. Yeah, I'll probably wash that off in a minute. <laughs> um, but that was Macaroot Razor Relief. Um, Great stuff normally, but this has been in my cupboard since I started shaving, so probably not the best stuff to use. Anyway, that's it for me today. That's for the ladies and uh, that's, that's the end of the shave, ladies and gentlemen. As I usually finish up, um, I will see you all tomorrow. For um, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I am. I'm starting my magnificent eleven shaves tomorrow, so I will start with the number one razor on that list. Um, so there we go. So it's bye bye from me and it's bye bye from the Henson AL13 medium razor. Bye now.